So today we want to start talking about the metric system. And the reason we want to start talking about the metric system is this is what we'll use in this course. Okay? And this is different than the English system that we use in our everyday life. Right? So what are the differences? Well, first of all, in the English system, if you wanted to measure the length of something, you would use inches, feet, yards, miles, etc. If you wanted to measure a weight, you would use pounds or pounds. And if you wanted to measure volume, you would use a gallon or a quart or ounces, fluid ounces, that is, etc., etc. Fluid ounces. Um, but the problem is, well, as we all know, there are 12 inches in a yard, er, in a foot. Twelve inches in one foot. There are three feet in one yard, and there are five thousand two hundred and eighty feet in one mile. So let's say I have a problem, and I need to convert the number of uh, feet that I've measured. Uh, let's say I'm measuring pipe right and I have uh, sections of pipe that are 30 feet long and I need to know how many sections of pipe that I'm gonna need to lay over the course of let's say 70 miles so how many sections of pipe All right, and this can get a pretty pretty hazardous pretty quickly. So one of the things you may need to do in a problem is convert from miles to feet or feet to miles. And uh, let's just go back to that uh, problem. Let's say that I have uh, a section of uh, three or so miles. Let's say that I need to lay pipe for three miles. How many feet is this? Okay, well, we know that one foot equals, uh, whoops, we know that uh, I want 5,280. Two th or 5,280 feet equal one mile. And so if I have three miles, what I need to do is set up a proportion to convert this into feet. And I have miles here, so I need miles on the bottom here. And I'm going to use this conversion factor. And in one mile, there's 5,280 feet right and so this is going to become this is going to be 15,840 right and you can see that this is a rather clumsy uh, conversion factor and this would get even worse if we needed to convert this into inches because uh, then we would need to multiply by 12 again, and there's just really no rhyme or reason to how these conversion factors work. So in the metric system, everything is based on the power 10, right? Powers of 10. Now, in the metric system, the base unit of length is the meter.
or one with a lowercase m. Okay, so one meter is just a little bit longer than one yard. All right, for estimation purposes, you can think of it as a yard, but it's just a little bit longer. It's about 39 and a half inches or so. All right, so one meter is just a little bit longer than one yard, but this is the base unit of uh, length. And so then all of the other lengths are based on powers uh, of 10, multiples of powers of 10 of that length. So, for instance, uh, the long unit of uh, distance in the metric system, the standard long unit of distance is the kilometer, or the kilometer, so we have the word meter in there. So we know this is going to be a factor of a meter, and the term kila... equals 1,000, right? So a kilometer equals 1,000 meters, or in scientific notation, this is 10 to the third power, because 10 cubed is 1,000, so 10 to the third meters, right? And that's a very easy conversion factor. And likewise, if uh, because in the English system we measure things in feet or yards and sometimes we need to go even smaller to inches or even a fraction of an inch, if we need to go the other way, there are two standard units of measure called the centimeter and the millimeter. Okay? And so the centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter and the millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. Okay? So a centimeter is equal to 10 to the negative 2 meters and a millimeter is equal to 10 to the negative 3 meters. But to show you the utility, let's do a quick example. Um, Let's say that I'm laying that same pipe from before, but now I'm measuring in metric units, okay? And let's say I need to uh, lay pipe 10 kilometers uh, along a highway, and I need to know how many meters this is, right? I need to know how many meters this is, okay? So, I'm going to take 10 kilometers, and we know our conversion factor is for every 1 kilometer, or for every 1 km, there's 1,000 meters, and the reason I have to set my proportion up this way is so that my kilometers will cancel, so I need kilometers on bottom here, and kilometers up top here. And now all I need to do is multiply 10 uh, by 1,000, and that's just 10,000. So there's 10,000 meters in 10 kilometers, and this makes conversions much, much more easy. Uh, so um, for another example, let's say that I have 3.5 kilometers, and I need to know how many centimeters how many centimeters is this? Okay, so a quick easy way to do this would be 3.5 kilometers. And now let's convert from kilometers to meters, and we know that in one kilometer, there's a thousand meters. But now I need a second conversion factor to go from meters to centimeters. And so since I have meters up top here, I'm going to need meters on bottom here. And we know that there's one meter for every hundred centimeters. And now I'm ready to do my calculation. And I can cancel out my kilometers. I can cancel out my meters. And all I'm left with is my centimeters, which is what we want. And we have a hundred times a thousand, which is a hundred thousand. And a hundred thousand times 3.5. So this is 350,000. Or, 
if you do scientific notation, one, two, three, four, five, this is 3.5 times 10 to the fifth centimeters. And this is much easier to uh, use than converting miles to feet and then feet into inches and then inches into yards and so on and so forth. Uh, so this is the power of the metric system. So just to um, give you a, another sense of, of some of the uh, different types of units that we use, we've already introduced kila and we've introduced centa and we've introduced the uh, milla but there are several other prefixes that have other uh, powers of 10 attached to them so the kilo was 1000 cento was 1 one hundredth milla was 1 one thousandth um, other uses that you may have heard mega as in a megabyte right um, mega means one million and it actually doesn't exactly mean one million bytes in computer language. It's slightly different, but uh, for, for our purposes, mega means one million. Um, giga means one billion. So in one gigameter, there are one billion meters, or in one gigaliter, there's one uh, billion liters. Um, and... We have uh, another um, very popular uh, term that's in use these days, and this is nano. Whoops. Nano, not nana. Nano. And this is one one uh, billionth. So this is one over one billion. And we won't really get into things that are at the nano scale uh, in this course, but we will in 152. If you take one phi, uh, phi 152, we will get into uh, things at the nano scale, one one billionth of a meter. Um, but also in the metric system, all right. So in in physics in general, we have in mechanics what we're going to study in this course. We have three standard units. Okay, and these three standard units are length, and we've already talked about the standard unit of length in the metric system, and that is the meter. And we have a unit of mass. Okay, and uh, contrary to uh, potential intuition, the standard unit of mass is in fact the kilogram. And in one kilogram, just for your uh, sake of um, being able to get a sense of how big a kilogram is, one kilogram is approximately equal to 2.25 pounds. Okay, it's approximate, it's not exact, but it's uh, a good enough approximation if you need to do a quick calculation in your head. Right? And then we also need time. And this is just measured in normal seconds. Okay, so these three values, the meter, the kilogram, and the seconds, are what we call the SI system of measurements. Right? These are what the scientific community across the globe accepts as the standard units. Now, of course, certain subfields measure things differently. But when in doubt, uh, it's never a bad idea to report your um, findings in terms of meters, kilograms, and seconds. All other quantities, things like velocity, force, energy, power, so on and so forth, all of those quantities, their units can be derived from these three sets of units. Okay? And all of them work the exact same way with all of the prefixes. So a gigameter is going to be a billion meters. A uh, gigagram would be one billion grams. A gigasecond would be one billion seconds, so on and so forth. So all the prefixes that we're going to use in this course work equally well for all of these. However, most of the prefixes that we'll use in terms of kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, or whatever will be restricted to um, units of length, 
and most of the time we'll just report masses in either grams or kilograms and we will use uh, seconds for most of our times sometimes minutes and sometimes hours but those convert just like they normally do 60 seconds in a minute 60 minutes in an hour okay uh, but these are our three standards of units and we've already gone through a couple examples of how to use conversions and so I will leave it there for now and we will talk about chapter two next time. All right, look forward to seeing you then.